I'm out here standing in the middle of my new greenhouse. Well, it's almost a greenhouse. Earlier this year, I stumbled across a video by Steve Farley, the optimistic gardener. He was building a greenhouse out of pallets. And Steve's idea just seemed to strike a chord with me because I have access to uh, lots of pallets. It's a, a low cost way of uh, building one. So I didn't follow exactly what he did, but I'm pretty close to doing what he did on his. So it's two pallets wide, which is about eight feet and three pallets long or about 12 feet long. As you can see, the uh, pallets have been wrapped in uh, plastic sheeting and just to provide a little bit of uh, some insulation to it and the outside has been covered in plywood plywood parts that I've had uh, laying around and just uh, using up back here got a little bit of uh, I tested it out back here just to see what it would look like and it's not too bad <laughs> it's only about 18 to two, uh, 18 inches to two feet of space back here so there's really not too much uh, <laughs> room but I wanted to be able to have enough room to get behind it to work on it when I was uh, going to be installing the back of the uh, uh, plastic back here but it runs right up alongside my my pond right now so it's pretty close and that's my an apple tree I've got there but this is the first step and as I progress I'll uh, update it uh, more the next phase of the greenhouse build is putting the siding on this was actually the fence from my neighbor's yard that had the stockade fence along there. We ended up putting on the uh, board on board fence up along uh, the property line. So I'm using the old fence as cladding on the outside of the greenhouse. It gives it an old weathered look. I may sand it down to try and bring out a little bit more of the uh, color, but right now I'm just fine with the, uh, the gray. We have about a three foot opening here. And despite the optics of this, it actually is level. So I'll be putting a door frame in here. It'll be uh, pressure treated on the bottom and probably regular timber up top, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go with pressure treated, we'll see. As you can see on top, I've also got decking here. This is five, this is five quarter decking uh, by six inches. So it doesn't quite, well, actually it does. It covers the width of the, pa uh, the uh, pallet right now perfectly. But once I put the uh, siding on, I'm gonna cover just the tops of the out by outdoor siding. So it's gonna leave just a slight lip here. And then when I put um, whatever kind of finish I'm gonna do on the inside. So it'll be a little bit of a reveal on that side. This will be the shelf that actually ties it all together. Um, it'll run over, tie into this uh, pallet. Same thing on the other end and in that corner. And as you can see, I've just got simple connectors in the corner holding it together. Need another one up top right now. They are screwed into each other right now, but uh, I wanna add yeah, just a little simple uh, tie to it, just like that. So this is the other side that I'll have to do, uh, putting up the fencing as siding on it. And then just the front. And then I'll start building the doorway in place. If you look up above, it's not the ideal location for the uh, greenhouse since it is underneath trees. But this is the north. Uh, this is facing north. So on south and going east to west. 
there might be uh, enough light coming in here uh, to allow some plant growth. But again, this is really to uh, allow me to start seeds early, uh, put them in the greenhouse to harden them off and uh, have a place for them that's protected. It'll provide a, a potting area for me as well. So the next phase of the uh, construction is done. The fencing panels have been applied as siding and I have a board, a one by six uh, decking board on top to uh, serve as uh, a platform uh, for the hoops that'll be installed, to be installed on. So on the front though, I went with the uh, boards from the pallets and then just uh, tidied it up with at the top with a uh, uh, decorative uh, piece. This is, this provides uh, a nailer for the uh, door frame that'll end up uh, going in here. Now I'll be getting the uh, PVC pipe to begin installing the arches. And as you can see, I've got the hoops up and in place and I've got the rear vent window installed. This is just a scrap window I had laying around. So I can close it all the way up or leave it open for ventilation with the screen on it. And it's just uh, tacked in with a couple of uh, screws, self-tapping screws. I made a, a frame the same width as the doorway and it runs to the same height. So the hoops are screwed in to each end. What I did was I drilled a one and one eighth inch hole. These are three quarter inch PVC conduit. And the reason I use the PVC conduit is because on this side, it's got a built-in connector into it. So, this is about nine feet long, thereabouts, and it's 12 feet wide. So these are 10 foot sections, and then these were cut down to 32 inches. So on the ends, I just drilled in a screw and then also attached the screw on top and that just makes sure that they're secure in there. Now by themselves, they're not <laughs> particularly great. I mean, I could leave them as that. It's only gonna have like the plastic on top of it. But when, if there's a snow load at all, I don't want it uh, collapsing in on itself. So from up here and then running underneath all here, all the way down to the far wall, I'll be installing a two by four, uh, running the entire length uh, 12 foot two by four, and then it'll be screwed in. Each of the uh, hoops will be screwed into the two by four. I've got the ridge beam in, secured to the top of the door frame. The ridge beam is a 12 foot two by four. So this is just a little bit shorter than 12 feet because you can see it juts out. So I'll end up cutting that off flush with the uh, frame and I'll probably round over the edge on the uh, top there for when the plastic comes over and then the uh, hoop is connected to the top of the ridge beam all the way across and then also in the window frame and then I added just some cross bracing here this actually the hoop seemed pretty uh, strong Man, an arch is one of the strongest uh, shapes, but uh, I added a cross piece in here just for uh, extra support. I don't know, it's not, it actually did re um, tighten everything up a little bit. I did that on both sides. But what I did was, it's attached here with uh, these little uh, clamps. And what it is, it's made out of, uh, thin wall three quarter inch PVC and I uh, I'll show you how I made them uh, real quick basically I just cut like uh, four inch lengths four or five inch lengths of the pipe 
uh, cut out a section. If you think of a clock figure uh, 10 and two cutting out of it all the way down. So you have a open area. And then uh, I just uh, sanded off the sides, the insides, so it was smooth, so it didn't tear the uh, plastic. And then you just snap it on, and it's snapped on. The extra part, I just used Gorilla Tape. And so the outer layer is attached to the end walls with the Gorilla Tape. It wasn't necessary. I just didn't want these little pieces flapping around. I did a batten here. I pulled the uh, plastic around, attached a batten, and that's holding the uh, plastic in. And then I just stapled it to the inside of the jam here. There's some duct tape over the top where the screw head is, just to protect the uh, plastic. And there it is, with the uh, plastic on. It's secure. I don't know whether it's watertight. We'll see with the first rain that comes through, but it's, uh, it's done, not other than having to build a door. As I've mentioned, it is under a shaded area of the yard. So it might not be good for a whole lot of crops, you know, like the sun loving crops, but it gets a morning sun. And in the springtime, without any leaves on the trees, it's pretty well, uh, uh, lit up in here and it'll probably be the same way in the fall. This is not uh, greenhouse plastic. This is four mil plastic from Harbor Freight. How well it's going to hold up? I don't know. I've used this on my chicken coops though, not this particular uh, plastic, but I've used this on my uh, chicken coops throughout uh, winters and I've been able to reuse it for a couple of years. So I think it'll uh, do well. I ended up needing someone to help me with the uh, main part of it, even for this uh, small uh, section, just to be able to pull it tight while I was attaching the uh, braces. I have a two by two in here and I wrapped it a few times in the plastic. And then as you can see, I used a fender washer and a screw and it's screwed right into the siding and the plywood and where I could into one of the uh, vertical supports in the pallet. I then went on the other side, pulling it real tight. And uh, so it's stretched really nice and tight on the, uh, the hoops. I did the same thing on the front, attaching it to the top here with these clamps and then pulling it taut and then screwing it into the frame. And as you, if you notice, the plastic is wrapped underneath. So any water that uh, comes down drips off. Uh, if it was done the other way, the water could uh, get trapped and maybe leak into there and eventually rot out the wood. And uh, it just probably would have been just the same had I done it all one sheet. So it's hot as all heck in here. It's kind of nice out in the yard, but in here it's pretty darn humid, even with this little uh, window. So I might end up having to put a, get a small fan and put it in here to uh, get some air movement because it's toasty. With the greenhouse now complete, I'm in the process of building my work tables inside so they will run eight feet this way and then it's about nine feet from edge to edge thereabouts so it'll be an l-shaped table the greenhouse is completed it's now a functional structure for me and while there's still a couple of things i want to do inside they're not a, essential to the working order of the greenhouse. First note, don't play fetch with your dog around your greenhouse if you build one of these things. I threw his ball straight through the plastic. And uh, however, I've covered it up with some Gorilla Tape on the outside and the inside. 
and it seals it up nicely. In the winter time, the uh, tape will prevent any uh, air coming through. And it's also good in the event that any of the branches do fall and maybe poke a hole through the plastic, the tape will uh, uh, be able to patch it up. Uh, this is 12 feet long. I could have gone every two feet on the spacing of the arches. I went every three feet. So it gave me uh, five uh, arches all together instead of having uh, six. But I think the structure is uh, fine just as it is. So I made a uh, door out of two by fours that I ripped down to two by two. And I've got a simple latch to keep it closed. It opens freely and then you come inside and this is the interior space. So this is my uh, potting bench or a bench I should say. In this space here I actually want to build a small uh, potting bench dedicated for uh, potting up plants. As you can see I still have a few plants that I started up a little late. So this is where I'll be able to uh, set out my trays. And this is my Gorilla Tape that I use to uh, patch up. So I'm leaving it in here so I know I'll <laughs> where to find it. But I'll be able to uh, put these uh, 10 by 20 trays side by side here. This table is eight feet long. And I think that'll be more than sufficient for any plants that I have uh, growing. The bench top is 22 inches deep. It sits about 32 to 34 inches high, I forget exactly. Basically, I just put my hand by my side and the first knuckle of my thumb where that rested, that was the height. And it just so happened it lined up perfectly with the top of the uh, pallet. So that worked out well. Over here is my drying rack. This is a quarter inch hardware cloth that I've uh, stapled into the uh, um, a two by two that I ran across the back. And then there's another one underneath at the front. And then just to protect myself from getting caught on any edges, I put a, uh, a piece of one by material to clamp it down and to protect me. So there's a slight lip here again just to protect me from uh, scratching myself this is the kind of rack that i wanted for the uh for things like the garlic uh my onions that will probably be uh, ready to harvest next month and any kind of vegetables that i want to just air out right there it's uh sufficiently strong to uh hold up the what i put on it and i had sized the bench just to uh, match these uh, 10 by 20 uh, trays. This is all just pallet wood that was uh, cut up. I tried to use whatever I had. This is again a two by four that was ripped down to one by two. It's got four by four posts. The four by fours were reclaimed from my neighbor's fence. And uh, so I cut them to size and they're providing stability for the bench. So I could probably stand on <laughs> this bench if I needed to. Here, I just put another leg for in the middle for a little bit of support. I'll be putting a uh, wood chip mulch flooring down just to go along with the uh, wood chip that I have here. And that is the, uh, the greenhouse. So it's located right next to the, uh, the pond which is doing quite well now. I want to build a bench right there so that I can sit in the morning, have my cup of coffee, listen to the water, and then look out over the yard and the garden and see how things are growing. Okay, thanks for watching.